Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your July 2018 general reading. Thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, thank, you can find me on Instago, Instagram, go over to my website, book a reading. Take advantage of the $10 one question reading or the $20 two question reading, okay? Um, so let's get started. Okay, so some of my queries could be surrounded by family now uh, maybe taking a trip with family it's a, a very loving time a lot of love and, and um, just loving energy around a lot of my Aquarius some of you are gonna be by water there's a lot of sentimental feelings like you know um, it's not of grief it's not of you know an overwhelming amount of emotion or love but there's something that that ties you it's like it's really sentimental it means something but it's not overwhelming um some of you finances are, are highlighted greatly it looks like it's you're on the brink of something. Some, some of you are starting something, starting businesses. It's really from the ground up. You're trying to uh, be grounded in moving forward. The obstacle is money. But long term stability is here. You have a lot of love around you, too. Some of you need to shed some negative feelings, some negative mindsets about long-term stability, about money, about how you look at money, what is money to you. Abundance is here once the obstacle moves. Now, that could be a mindset, that could be a person, that could be a situation. I don't know. All right, so that's where we are energetically. Okay, so we've got the cards pulled. I'm pulling the cards now because it just takes less time and uploading and all that stuff. Okay, so we've got love here. Past, present, future, career and finance, additional cards of support. It's kind of a glare. Close it a bit. Okay. The bottom of the deck for love is the page of air very direct communication direct communication um, in regards to love short and sweet but direct can be harsh can be taken as harsh this is your energy Gemini Libra Aquarius some of you just cutting some some things off if it doesn't serve you just outright cutting it out and cutting it off okay so for the past energy we have the four of air the nine of earth the ten of earth wow um that was there uh so a lot of you have been in contemplation about Some of you might even be separated from a family dynamic or in heavy contemplation about your long-term stability. And it might be tied into a family dynamic, a family business. You might be in business with a spouse. Um, you're concerned about cutting a cord, severing ties with this. How does it look for you financially? Okay, presently, we're at the Eight of Water, Ten of Air, the Queen of Water. Some of, like I said, some of you are, or someone is looking at you in this, in this manner. They're wanting to walk away. They have been in contemplation about it, but 
the biggest obstacle here is money is long-term status monetary and it's just really money it's like well you know how much am I if it's a man it's how much am I going to pay in alimony child support if it's the woman it's well how how will my life look until I'm able to get those types of payments I'm wanting to walk away or I'm wanting to separate or we are separated there is an ending here um maybe with uh, someone the mother of your child or children or you're the mother of of children with uh, an Aquarius Gemini leave some of you getting payouts from um, spouses or baby daddy baby mama situations um, yeah some you completely checked out or someone is looking at you like this like Aquarius like um they're wanting to leave the situation but they're very concerned about their money and their their legacy what they've built up for themselves the ten of pentacles could be dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio or another air sign like yourself or even even an earth sign uh, Sun Moon arising Capricorn Virgo Taurus okay the future three of water two of fire the world and the tower Okay, so for love there there's a lot of shake up for some of my Aquarius especially my my married or partnered Aquarius um, it looks like you have reconciliation or uh, the opportunity to be around friends and family the opportunity to um, enjoy yourself and in doing that I mean you're at a fork in a row here you're enjoying yourself and, and you're in communion with your friends and, and or family but you're also choosing a new path to chart to like you're walking away from a, from one, one situation that you've already been in and possibly going to another that um, it'll, it'll be new for you and it's a complete change to your world and it's a cycle ending it's a door closing a chapter closing but not without the paradigm being broken down the faulty the faulty building the falsehood the, the fakeness of a situation it's being broken down I think we saw that in the stones it's like an obstacle once you let the, this obstacle fall or you or you 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 get over whatever it is you're trying to get over or, or get past a, a certain situation for some of you is it's how you think about a situation mentally um, you are not or you might be trying to listen to your intuition get a little bit more um, in touch with your feelings and your emotions about a situation maybe with the cancer Pisces Scorpio and in doing so you have reconciliation and you go down a new path with this person this is for another set of Aquarius and that chapter that old chapter of hurt pain and separation is um is is broken down you know the the wall has has crumbled for some of you okay career and finance the bottom of the deck two of swords this is libra you could be dealing with a libra this is um, indecision. You know you need to make a decision, but you feel like I don't have all the information. I don't. It's a head over heart decision. I'm not doing anything at this very moment, but I know I need to. I know a decision needs to be made. Okay, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, the Empress, the King of Rods.
So this is about creating your own abundance. Uh, you're creating your own abundance, but doing what you want, doing what what serves you, what drives you, what what you're passionate about. This is the entrepreneur also. For some of you, it could be a creative pursuit. It could be uh, art, um, the esoteric. It could be tarot card reading, psychic. Um, you need to get to a place where you are comfortable and at peace knowing that this is the right move. This is the right uh, shift in your career. Six of sword. You want to get there. You want to move to a more placid and peaceful state of being in your career. You're some of you are trying, like I said, uh, we saw it in the stone. Some of you are trying to build something. The Empress builds, the Empress sits on the throne that she built from the wilderness. The other queens they sit on a throne that was built for them, that was ordained and mandated for the queen, whoever she may be. But the Empress builds her own empire from nothing she creates her own abundance she creates her own uh atmosphere what her life wants what she wants or he or she wants for her him or her what you want for your life build it okay i'm getting all tongue-tied here um some of you are trying to you're the the very beginning of building a career trying to find balance structure with the six of swords and doing that spirit is working with you but you have to make a choice about is this really what you want to do mm, are you in are you out some of you because it's not going in the as fast or as quickly or the money is not coming in as quickly as as you wish then it, it makes you be of two minds where your heart and your head are not aligned where you might even want to go back to an old way of um, doing things or an old career or job and then at the bottom of the deck for the butterfly oracle card is self-employment and that's pretty much where we are um yeah self-employment um it's pretty self-explanatory right we saw that in the stones we see it here we even see it a little bit in love you're definitely concerned with long-term stability in love and in career and finance. Um, Self-employment is highlighted for a great number of you. If you've been thinking about it, if you've been doing it, if, stick with it. Um, it. I think it gets better once you get clear about your vision and where you want to go with this don't okay all right so it's not good english but don't just be doing stuff have a plan have a clear and concise plan about where this business is going okay that was for somebody it might be for me y'all know i'm an aquarius so. heavenly signs okay so through music through through anything, through objects, through people, being in conversation with someone and they just say something and it just hits you like a a ton of bricks and it's like, whoa, okay. Join in. For some of you, you need to join in uh, real life groups. This is not joining a group that's on the internet, joining social media or dating sites. Get out in the world. Join real groups where you have to interact with other real people. I know that's a dying sport there, but join in. Get out in the world. This will um, <clears throat> allow some of you dating. 
yeah uh join in it'll help you meet people it'll help you meet contacts through through business for self-employment that those definitely those who are self-employed leaving and we see that in the love sector you're leaving a situation or you know you're leaving turbulence behind in career and finance because you're finally getting active and very decisive on, on which way you want to go in a certain situation um, <clears throat> leaving I mean whatever it means to you. you could be leaving a relationship leaving a job leaving home moving leaving okay and then be true to you right and I think we talked about that you have to be true to you and what you really want I think that's what's frustrating for some of you and and that has to be the paradigm shift the breakdown maybe that's the tower here be true to you be true to you sometimes Aquarius most definitely is true to everybody else and everything else and just really forgets about themselves especially if um, you have water in your chart you know like Cancer Pisces Scorpio be true to you do you know put you first for once I hope that this message helped all of my queries who view the video take advantage of a personal reading to pull the energy for yourself um, go over to the website look around book a reading remember the calendar does not matter you'll receive your reading within four business days and you'll receive several emails that say just that so yeah um, remember Aquarius to stay in prayer uh, when in doubt pray I'm praying for you guys pray for me as well take care until the mid July readings come out all right it looks like you're coming out of something come I, Aquarius has been in like a mental funk about a situation about a person about a certain dynamic in career and finance for a long time and it's about you coming out of that and getting real um serious about where you want to be or where you're going long-term stability ten of earth nine of earth definitely focused on that in love and in your finance your career what you do uh, be true to you some of you have passions that are creative and um, if you want to take you know if you want to make that a career take the next step to do so join a group that shares the same interest as you okay all right Aquarius take care